everyone. Look, I know I haven't done a YouTube video in a very, very long time, but I thought you I'd treat you with another one right here, right now. So I'm back. And today I'm going to be talking about something I want to talk about a very long time. And that is how to pick a cricket bat. There are a lot of theories out there about how to pick a good cricket bat and what is a good cricket bat. I'm going to tell you what I find in a cricket bat, what I look for in a cricket bat, then you can make up your own mind. But this is Cricket Bat Picking 101 with Kawaji. Now when you walk into a cricket store and you're wondering what bat to pick and they're all lined up in a shelf and you finally find one you like, the first thing I do, the first thing, pick it up, feel the weight of the bat. The balance of the bat is almost the most important thing. You don't want a bat that's too heavy. I also think you don't want a bat that's too light. I use around 2.9.5, 2.10. Most of the guys that I play with use around 2.9, 2.8.5. I'm on the heavier side. That's only because I've found that the heavy bat just feels nicer to me. When I get a light bat, I hold it too tight, I try to swing too hard, and it just doesn't feel right. Um, I've gotten used to holding heavier bats the older and older I've gotten. For some reason, I don't know why. So it's a very personal choice. You just gotta pick up the bat, even try closing your eyes, just playing a few shots with it, tap it down, and figure out what works for you. Probably, if I say go on the safer side, always go lighter than heavier. At least you'll know you'll be able to swing it. Secondly, and probably the most important thing, it's right up there, is the ping. What you hear people call the ping, when you hear them tap the bat like this. Now, every single bat that you use will have a good middle. The real trick is, and a real test of a good bat is, not how good the middle is, but how big the middle is. If the middle of the bat is only this big, it's all right. You want a middle of the bat that's this big. So when the ball's pinging off the bat through that middle area, that is the bat you want. And now that's a sign of a good bat with good ping. So when people test it, they test it with a finger, they can hear it, they can feel the bounce. I like to use a cricket ball. Just tap the cricket ball up. You can feel that, oh that's a nice, that's a nice spot right there. And now I'll go up and down the bat and feel how long that feeling is. Feel how long that nice feeling is. Other people use mallets, you can do the same thing in mallets. You can feel it ping back. You can also hear the mallet off the wood and feel where the middle of the bat is. And the longer the middle is, the better the bat is, the better the ping is. So that's where you want to be. Now one of the most important things when you're tapping and using cricket ball is make sure it's brand new. If you don't have a brand new cricket ball, you'll get balls that are soft. Different balls age differently. There'll be different hardness. You want to keep this component very, very consistent. And a new ball every time will be as consistent as you can. And then the only thing that changes is the bat ping. The ball will stay the same and only the bat ping will change the same. So make sure you always have a new ball when you are testing ping. And that ping of the bat is so important. When I have two bats that feel the same, that look the same, and I can't really decipher which one I want to pick, it always comes down to ping for me. Whichever one I think is pinging better, that's the one I'm going to pick. Now the third thing for me is shape. Shape can be very individual. I like a bat, big middle, and you see big middles through here where the spine comes up to its max. If you have too low or too high, it changes the bat's weight. The number one thing we talked about, too low, it'll feel heavier. Too high, it'll actually pick up nicer. I like to have in this sweet spot right here. It's not too high, not too low. It's sort of in between both. That's where I like to have my middle. Uh, and lastly, the thing I love, square toe. I love looking down at a square toe, just putting it, tapping behind my bat. Anyone will tell you that if you feel good, you play good. You want to feel confident. When you're tapping that bat down, you want to feel confident. And that's what it does, a square toe. I love the look of the bat. It actually makes it feel a little bit bigger too with a square toe. So it's one thing I love in a cricket bat. The thing, three things I love when I talk about the shape of a cricket bat. Number four, and thing is probably the most controversial thing we talk about is the grain. Now people love a tight grain, they love a two-tone. I used to be the same until I realized it meant nothing. Now I have bats that are six, seven, eight, nine grains and they still ping as good as anything. I actually prefer ping over anything else. So I ask the bat manufacturer, I don't care what they look like, just make sure they ping. And then if they do, send them over. And 
I've found bats that have had 13 grains that are picked, bats that have had 6 grains that are picked. So don't pick a bat just on grains. This one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 grains really through the whole thing. And it pings. I know it pings. I just tapped it before. It's a beautiful cricket bat. So don't get caught up in the aesthetically looking bat. Hey, if you want to, if you want a bat that looks beautiful, that's fine. That's fine. Get your bat that looks beautiful. I can't promise you it'll ping. And it's a trap that I used to get in all the time when I was a kid. Just tap the bat up yourself. Find the one that pings the best. Don't even look at the grain. And I promise you, you will be better off. Last but not least, the handle. Now I love an oval handle and it's only oval down the bottom of the handle. So your bottom hand feels the ovalness. And the reason I love an oval handle is just because of what I just did. Bang. This little bit here, it gets trapped right in there where the oval handle is. So the bat doesn't move my hand and I know exactly where the blade of the bat is. I can close my eyes and I know where the blade of my bat is and how I want to manipulate it just from the sensation of having that oval handle down the bottom. It's one of the most important things in my bat. I've tried that round handle. The bat moves around in my hand heaps. I can't get a feel of the face of the bat. It's really important. Funnily enough, when we were playing in India this year, Virat Kohli said the same thing. When he came to the academy in 2009 to Australia, when we were both young punks, I gave him one of my bats. Um, it was one of my old bats, but it had an oval handle. And he said, the thing I love about an oval handle, and the thing I still reason, and the reason I still use an oval handle today, is that he said that to me specifically because it locks in and you can control the bat and well if it's good enough for Virat it's probably good enough for most people so there you go everyone they are the five things that I'll always look in a cricket bat I mean I could talk about this for ages I've kept it really simple it gets a lot of views a lot of likes I'll go really in depth with some of this stuff but for now the balance of the bat uh, the ping make sure it's big make sure it's a big middle uh, the shape of the bat, edges, spine, the square toe, obviously the grains, myth in my opinion, and lastly that handle. I love an oval handle. You might not, there's plenty of players out there who love a round handle. I love an oval handle. And they're the five things I look for in a cricket bat. And hopefully they'll start the process in you making a lot of runs. See you later.